Hello and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would celebrate children going back to school by working on this 1000 piece Copper Hill puzzle by Shelley Davies and it's simply called Back to School. Now seven of my 11 grandchildren are going back to school this week. So I had this puzzle in my wish list for the longest time but I went ahead and bought it so that I could put it together to celebrate all these young people going on in their education, hoping for the best, hoping for a good, happy, healthy, mentally good year for all of them. Not just my grands, but anybody who has children going back to school. And that could be homeschool, online learning, or in-person school, whatever works for them. So what I decided to do with this video is to go ahead and show you this slideshow, the one that you're watching right now, the typical slideshow that I do when I post videos on this channel. But then I got to clo close to the end of the puzzle, maybe the last 15 to 20%, and I realized, you know, this puzzle's easy enough. I could go ahead and try to get a little bit of time lapse, and that's what you're going to see coming up right now. You know, I'm not sure why I'm so anxious about time-lapse videos. Now, I do realize that I could have put the boom arm on the back of the table to get a complete overhead shot. But since this is only a portion of the puzzle, the last, say, 20% of the puzzle, I just went with the easiest configuration that I could do. Now... I've talked to you guys about whether or not I want to do time lapses versus slideshows. And I've also mentioned that time lapses are really not in my wheelhouse. I think I find myself a little bit more anxious. But then as I watch this back, I realize that it's not it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, you know? And Maybe I might try my next one. I'm not really sure yet because I do. This is a Shelly Davies puzzle, as I will have mentioned earlier in the video. And I have seven other Shelly Davies puzzles on the Spin the Wheel app. So I'm not sure which one is going to come up. And this was an easy puzzle. Very, very, very easy. Whereas the other ones that I have that are in my stack for uh, the wheel app to choose from, they're totally not easy. By no stretch of the imagination could you call any of those easy. So I don't know if I'm going to try to do a time lapse with those, but I thought I would do that for this part of the video. And now I'm editing this on my phone, so I am seeing a very small window i would say the window is maybe an inch and a half by an inch and a half square so i'm hoping that when i put this on a bigger device or a bigger screen that it would have been worth the while it will have been worth the while for me to do this part of the puzzle as a time lapse so we'll see and as you can see i'm finishing it up and um, when I get to the last piece, I think I'm going to go back and slow that part of the video down. I'll let it play all the way through now, and then I'll slow it down. This is a pretty bad angle, but this is me putting in that very last piece. Very gratifying to finish this back-to-school puzzle. So as I close out this video, we'll do it with another slideshow because I want to mention something. I have five of these. I have five of these in my to-do stash that are Cobble Hill that the artist is Shelley Davies and four in the to-do stash that are Schmidt puzzles. Of those four, I've done one. So when I think of the differences between Schmidt and in Cobble Hill for quality Schmidt ranks higher this is a very crumbly puzzle you know like for example I just completed dreamscape 
retreat from Zaracraft. Uh, that's my previous video here on this channel. And uh, that was a crumbly puzzle as well. I haven't taken the time to compare the thickness of the pieces, just mentioning the similarities when it comes to a crumbly puzzle. Now, if I were to say, spin the wheel and a Schmidt puzzle comes up instead of another Cobble Hill puzzle, it doesn't matter which one comes up, I'm going to do it. But if I were to do a Schmidt puzzle, it's going to pass the pickup challenge. Cobble Hill definitely will not. But that's no big deal for me because I love it. It brings me joy and I'm excited to start on my next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate any time that you spend with me on this channel. And if you like this video, please give it a like so that the YouTube algorithm can kind of push this video to other puzzle lovers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you with my next video.